Hi. So here is a circuit of current meter using PMOS transistor. And our task is to analyze this circuit. So before this, we have seen how NMOS pair of transistors can be used to form a current meter circuit. Now, this time, we are taking a look at PMOS. So obviously, here are your pins. That is your source pin. This is the gate pin. And that is the drain pin. Let me use a different color for better visibility. So that's my source pin. This is gate pin. And this is the drain pin of transistor M1. The direction of arrow indicates the current direction of current flow from source to drain. And I have tied gate pin and drain pins together for the MOSFET M1, ensuring this transistor is going to be operated always in the saturation mode. So it is having a constant current that is being provided. That is ID1. And now the current in this transistor M1 is flowing due to this constant current source that I have externally applied. I can also draw such configuration. For example, this is my MOSFET where drain and the gate pins are shorted. And instead of this current source, I can use the resistance also to basically generate this same I reference here. And the rest are same here. This is going to be the same is your transistor M2 right here. Okay, so, so there are ways to generate this reference current. So for example, register R here. Now there is a gate pin of this transistor. This is the source pin and this is the drain pin. And now here is acting as a current sink. This reference current acting as a current sink because current is going inside the ground pin here. When we say MOSFET M1 and M2 are operating in this, uh, are, are exactly same. That is, they are the same type of transistor with their width equal to same, the length of the two transistors same, and the VTH, which is the threshold voltage of the transistor, also same. So therefore, we will say M1 is equal to M2. And if such condition happens, we would say this ID1, which is equal to I reference, gets mirrored into the second transistor. Therefore, ID2 is equal to ID1 is equal to I reference. Okay. Essentially, the gate currents IG is equal to zero in both the transistor. So now their source is at the same potential, that is VDD. The gates are at the same potential. Uh, as shown, therefore, their VGS actually, or you can say that VSG, and here also VSG. So, or we just say VGS1 is equal to VGS2 of the transistors. Okay, and IDS. One of the transistor is equal to IDS2. Okay. And the current is uh, in the transistor ID1 is equal to 1 over 2, that is then KP dash W by L of this transistor 1 in bracket VGS minus VTH square in bracket 1 plus lambda VDS. Lambda is the channel length modulation. So we have covered these concepts in our previous videos. So refer to that. Okay. So channel length modulation. Now assuming that the lambda is equal to 0. So there is so the output resistance of the MOSFET, which is this guy. This resistance across drain and source is infinite if lambda is 0. So ID1 and therefore ID2 is also going to be the 
same and therefore you have uh, output current i out which is your id2 this is acting as a current source now so if you connect this load here rl with respect to ground then uh, this is actually will act as a current source right right yeah so this is delivering the current right here okay oh well this is also acting as a current source here yeah and coming back to here i out is equal to id2 is also the same equation and therefore we would say the id2 over id1 which is equal to uh, w by l of 2 divided by w by l of 1 so just divide the two equations and uh, we'll see that the ratio of the width and the length will help us to set the required value of the current okay so if id2 is equal to 5 times id1 then set the w by l ratio to be 5 times id1 so hope uh, you like this video for the current mirror circuit using pmos transistor